We're out here trying out the Penty 3 to 9 by 40 AOL. Perfect. Really excited to bring these scopes to you. Um, I've been trying to work with Penty for quite a while, trying to get a hold of Penty and do some reviews for their products. So uh, they finally got a hold of me and we're out doing a review. This was given to me. We're going to take it out to the range here a little bit later. Uh, I'll go over a few things here while I unboxed it. When I unboxed it, I got this owner's manual. Now, guys, this owner's manual is very, very vague. I would not read into it very much. Uh, it tells you there's a few things on here like number two here is a locking ring for focus i don't have that on this scope i wouldn't read into this too much it tells you your eye relief down here it's pretty close uh, but this thing honestly leaves out a lot of the great features that this scope has so i'm just gonna kind of leave it over here off the side for a little while you do get as you can see you get the rings you get lens covers and you get a sunshade another cool thing you also get but it's already on the scope this little flash hider you guys get. Now this is kind of cool because I can take it and I can put it on my sunshade as well. Just like that guys, now we've got the 3 to 9 by 40 ALO Pinty scope with a sunshade and a flash kill on the front. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. I really like that. Uh, that whole setup. I like this whole setup that Penty has sent. Some of the great features this scope comes with is three different brightness illuminations. You've got green, red, and blue. The turrets are locking, so you can unlock them like this. Make your adjustment, whichever you need to do. Lock it back down. It is for windage and elevation. A little bitty throw lever built in right here. The objective adjustment is up here on the bell housing or the bell objective. And last but not least, this does have re-zeroing turrets. So you just find your zero, take it off, take your cap off, set it to zero, and put your screw back in. Really guys, I'm very impressed with this scope, uh, the look, the quality of it. Aircraft grade aluminum alloy. It's shockproof, the lenses are multi-coated, and it's got a bullet drop compensation in it for the reticle. It's not focused, but you guys can get an idea what the reticle looks like. I like how thin that reticle is. It is gas nitrogen purged as well. And this scope, believe it or not, runs right in, right at the $50 mark. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this on the 762 by 39. It's the same upper we've tested all the other three to nine by 40 scopes on, and we'll see how this one holds up compared to them. All right, so today, guys, we're out here trying out the new Penty 3 to 9 by 40 scope. Now, guys, I've done a few other reviews on scopes similar to this, and I'll be leaving a card right up here. You guys want to watch those? Oh, by the way, thanks to all 4,000 subscribers. I checked my subscription before I came out here today, and I just hit 4,000 today. 500 shy of my goal by the end of the year. So let's see if we can get those numbers up, guys. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, I love this scope, this gun. Uh, the whole setup is very, very nice. Great, great scope, guys. Oh well, yeah, guys, and don't forget, election's coming up this November. We gotta get out, we gotta vote if we wanna protect our Second Amendment rights. One thing I wish they would have done is the uh, 
The adjustment on this is very nice. It moves very smoothly, but the actual finger grip is clear over by the nine. If I think if they would have moved that finger grip probably around the six or the five adjustment here, magnification, it wouldn't be so bad. If you guys can see right now it's on the top. When I move it all the way along, back down to three, it's clear back down here. So if it's about a half turn all the way around. So if they'd actually moved this and put it on the five over here or the six, I could have just grabbed it right there. My finger would still be there and I'd be able to pull it right down, right down into the nine magnification. So that's one suggestion I would probably give Henty if they were actually gonna redesign this, is actually move your throw lever back over here by the five or the six. It would make more sense as you reach around to grab it, it would be closer to that end. Pull it back up and around and bang. See about where my finger's at? It's much harder to reach underneath the scope and pull it back around. So overall guys, I really like this scope. Like I said, when you order it, you're gonna get the sunshade with it, you're gonna get the lens covers with it, you get the scope rings with it, so everything's ready to mount. I like how it has the locking turrets screws right there so you can adjust it, get it locked in, and that thing's not going anywhere. It's got three different illumination, or three different intensity settings for each one. During the day, even the low settings are very, very visible. But really, in all honesty, if I'm going to use a illuminated reticle, it's gonna be more at night, so I wish this wasn't quite so bright. Really, guys, for a $50 scope, this scope is a great, great value scope. It's held zero very well out here during testing. I highly recommend it. If you guys like what you watch, give me a like, subscribe. Feel free to share this on any social media out there. You can follow me on social media. My social media are Facebook, Instagram, Full30.com, GunStreamer, and right here on YouTube as well. Thanks for shooting the breeze with me, guys. We'll catch you next time. All right, so today, guys, we're out here trying out the Penty 3 to 9 by 40 AOL. American Online.